I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy during this time. I thought I'd use the time to share some of the things that I've been working on in my practice time. Maybe they'll be helpful to you. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how I'm trying to take scales that I know and play them more melodically. And the way that I sort of get in the door to do that is to play the scales in different orders, the notes in different orders. So if I uh, take a D Dorian scale, which is the second degree of a C major scale, starting from the second degree, I've got D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D as my notes. It's good to sing the notes too. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. And I'm going to assign each scale tone a number. That's one, two, flat, three, four, five, six, flat, seven, eight. So the arpeggio of that scale would be the root, the flat third, the fifth, and the flat seventh. D, F, A, C, which is sort of melodic in and of itself. Play it up an octave. What about the rest of the scale? Well, you've got the second degree of the scale, E, right there. You've got the fourth degree of the scale, which is G, right there. And then, of course, you've got the sixth degree of the scale, which is the B. What I'd like to do is displace them and move them up one octave. So what I'd like to have is the root third, fifth, and seventh, you can think of them as the odd numbered notes of the scale. And then up one octave, I'd like to play the even notes of the scale, two, four, and six. But since I'm moving them up an octave, the octave being eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, D in the next octave, I can think of the second degree as the ninth, and I can think of the fourth degree as the eleventh, and I can think of the sixth degree as the 13th. So the sound that I'm going for is to take that scale and instead of going one, one, two, flat, three, four, five, six, flat, seven, eight, I want to go one, flat, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. And then I can get the D up here on another octave to end the phrase. And what I've been working on is a really simple way to play that. Uh, and I want you to follow me. I'm going to play the D, the root here, with my first finger. I'm going to slide up here to get the F with my second finger, which is the flat third. The A is right there, the fifth, with my first finger. Then I can get the flat seven, which is the C right there with my second finger, which sets up the first finger to play the ninth, which is E, and then I'm going to slide again to my second finger once more, which is the G, which is the eleventh, and then here I get the B with my first finger, the thirteen, and then there is my root note again of two octaves D. So I end up simply playing this pattern. Pointer finger, shift to second finger, pointer finger, shift up a minor third to the second finger, pointer finger, shift to the second finger, up a minor third, pointer finger, shift to my second finger, which is the root. Really all it is, is a series of minor thirds and major thirds in succession. D to F is a minor third. simple pattern. Descending. See how simple that is? It's a great way to find melodic
eroticism in the scales that you already know simply by displacing it. Now in terms of the theory, you're playing the root, third, fifth, and seventh, the odd numbered notes of the scale, and then you're playing 9, 11, 13, the even, well, they were the even number notes when they were 2, 4, and 6, but you simply move them up an octave. So this kind of generic sound becomes this sound. And if you want, you can get the F up here, and then you can play other scale tones. There's the G, there's the E natural. gets you into a, a more melodic way of thinking because you're moving the notes around the range of the instrument as opposed to staying in one place. So I hope this lesson was helpful. I want to shout out Bartolini pickups and GHS strings. This particular bass has Bartolini deep tone pickups and GHS super steel strings. I am a GHS strings endorsing artist and a Bartolini emerging artist. Uh, they're fantastic companies. They make great products. I have Bartolini's, pretty much every single bass that I own, uh, especially the ones that I gig out, and I use a variety of GHS strings, including these amazing Super Steels. They just feel uh, fantastic. They've got a nice growly tone, and for steel strings, they just feel amazing. And the Bartolini deep tones are just warm, fat-sounding pickups. Uh, so please check out GHS strings and Bartolini pickups. You can check out lawrencehabermusic.com for more information on what I do. Uh, I teach, if you want to take a Skype lesson during this time, feel free to hit me up about that. And then when things settle in, hopefully the gigs will start up again and I'd love to, uh, to play live for your project. Uh, also, recording, uh, I'm doing a lot of remote recording now, which is wonderful. If you're looking for somebody to play electric or upright bass on something, feel free to hit me up. And uh, I'll be sharing more educational content on my channel soon, so look out for that and have a fantastic day.